Hi everyone, I've been playing around with Dynamic Shadows in Moho and I finally got it working. So I thought I'd share with you what I came up with. My rig is relatively simple. Uh, you have to define the light vanishing point or the light source and the corresponding shadow vanishing point or the point directly below the light source that intersects with the floor plane. As the light source rises off the ground or away from the shadow vanishing point, the shadows get shorter and vice versa. Moving the shadow vanishing point up and down positions the light in the background or the foreground. In this first example, the light source moves around and the shadows react dynamically. In this example, the light source is stationary and the objects move, and once again the shadows react dynamically. Also, I gave the light source's Y position some noisiness to simulate the turbulence of a campfire. I'll just show you how the rig works. When I reveal all the bones, you can see that there's a lot going on. Each object with a shadow has three bones. One base bone with independent angle or ignored by inverse kinematics checked. One pointer bone that always points towards the shadow vanishing point. And parented to that and facing in the opposite direction is the shadow bone. To control the length of each shadow, there are several bones stretching from off screen to the light source. One for each quarter of the screen, as well as one for each moving object, with the X position copied from that object. But also, the bone's Y position is copied from the shadow vanishing point. These bones define the length of the shadow bone. Here, I'll demonstrate the idea by adding another object with its own shadow. I start by adding a new rock and a new shadow on separate layers. Then I add a base bone and set independent angle or ignored by inverse kinematics to true so that it doesn't rotate with the pointer bone. Then I add the pointer and shadow bones, making sure that the shadow bone is parented to the pointer bone. I then make the pointer bones target the shadow vanishing point. The next step is to add stretch bones. Usually, I would use an already existing one, but for the sake of demonstration, I'll copy one of them and position it above the rock. I then parent it correctly and set the target as the light source. The final step is to copy the scale from that bone to the shadow bone of the new rock. Once this is done, the shadow will move dynamically with the others. Hopefully this was useful, I'm quite excited that this worked, so please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.